Hello. Hi, hi, how are you? Fine, fine. Yes. We're going to wait for a couple of minutes, three minutes for the others to connect and then we will be ready to start, okay. Can you hear me, Mauricio? Yes, teacher. Good okay. night. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, hi Felix, I have new people, very good. One minute and we start. Hi, hi everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to level number three, right? Well, let's see who are here. I have nine people 
perfect. Um, hmm. Let's see. Twenty first today. Adriana Maria. No here, Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present. Okay. Analicia. Analicia. Cruz Antonio. <coughs> Cruz. No. David Alexander. Present teacher. David. Eddie Jonathan. Eddie Jonathan. No here. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Hi. Hi. I'm here. Hey, I remember. <laughs> I remember you. Ah, I Elmer. know you. I know <laughs> you. I knew the name was uh, sounded kind of familiarized to me. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. You're right. Okay. <laughs> it's that's my pleasure. It's my yeah. pleasure to be here I'm with you. To see you here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let's work hard. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Felix Enrique. Felix. Present. Nice, Felix. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace, not here, Grace, Michelle. Yvonne Marcela. Yvonne, not yet. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Jose Alberto. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo, no. Good night. Good night. Hi, good Present. evening. Jose Alfredo o Jose Alberto? Jose Alfredo. Ok, ok, ok. Jose Alfredo, I hear you very far like if you're in San Miguel right now. I mean... Oh, ah. That's why. That's why, that's why. Ok, good. Jose Alfredo, here. Let's see. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. How are you, Carlita? Fine, thank you, and you? Fine. Nice vacation. Right? Happy. <laughs> <laughs> we had nice vacation. Mario Ernesto? Hello. Mario. Hello, Mario. We have new people here. <coughs> Hi, Victor. Victor. Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario. Mm. Victor, your name is not complete. Try to put it long. Mario Ernesto. Okay. No here, Mario Ernesto, right? Eh, Rebecca Marcela. Rebecca. Y ya voy a tener un recado. Okay. <laughs> I'm here, Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. Mario. Okay, Mario. Nubia. Nubia. Nubia Zulema. No. Me salvé del reclamo de Nubia. Rebeca, Marcela. Rebeca. Present. Nice, Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present, teacher. Rosy, I saw you there. Nice. Victor, Manuel. Victor. Oh, see, Victor. Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. No, Claudia. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Is there anybody who entered later that I didn't call you? Me, teacher. Yvonne, hey, hello, Yvonne. Hola, la extrañaba, teacher. Sí, ¿Cómo hombre. está? Fine, fine, fine. Too long vacation, right? It was like a, two weeks, something like that, right? Yeah, two weeks. Did you sleep? Don't tell me no, teacher, I didn't. <laughs> you were supposed to sleep in these two weeks. Vamos I a... did. You did. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Me too. A little bit. A little bit. Adriana Maria here. No. Ana. Ana. Cruz Antonio. Eddie. Jonathan. Cruz. 
Cruz Antonio. I don't see you, Cruz. Yeah. You have your camera open. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, Cruz. Okay. Oh. Tora de black, I see. Cruz, oh, I see. Vaya, I'm going to ask you a favor. Please write the whole name, Cruz Antonio Gonzalez Villacorta, right? The whole name. Eddie Jonathan. Okay. Elmer Fabricio. Faith Michelle. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Hi, Elmer. How are you? Hi, teacher. What's your vacation? Nice vacation, right? Okay, Grace Mitchell. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth. I'm ready to start. Excellent, excellent. Jose Alberto, no here? No. And Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, I have a message. Teacher, Claudia dice que no puede entrar. Oh, thank you, David. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Claudia, que no rente. We're going to share with her. We're going to share something. A ver, a Azul le gusta más o blanco. What do you prefer? El fondo. Blue, ¿verdad? Desde que son intermedios, jeje, somos azules. Ok, vamos a ver. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I thought. Thank you, David. Well, let's see. Today uh, we have new people. We have a lot of new people today. I don't know if you have noticed, right? Hi, teacher. Hi. Who's saying hi? Hey, Senorita Nubia, how are you? Fine, teacher. Hey, nice vacation, right? <clears throat> good, good that we're back. Let me share with you the presentation for today. <clears throat> Intermediate three, unbelievable. We are very advanced now. Here we go. This, uh, you know, this course goes from September 21st to October 25th. So all October, we will be almost all October, right? We will be here and the rest of September. Well, today uh, we begin unit number one and we're going to be talking about product life cycle vocabulary. So beginning with vocabulary about the product life cycle. And the objective for today says, at the end of the class, participants will be able to describe details about the stages of the product life cycle. So identifying these stages today. Okay, 
And here we have the agenda, long agenda. A class introduction. So we're going to present ourselves today because we have new people. And we're going to have a review of the present perfect. Remember, we were talking about present perfect last course. So we will have a review. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have the task is about development of a new product stages of the product life cycle. We have a reading about the same product life cycle and we finish with the vocabulary of the lesson, right? Okay, mm, who am I? I'm going to make a brief introduction first and then I'm going to listen to some of you introducing yourself. Uh, you know, I have a master's degree in virtual learning environment. Uh, my bachelor degree was in education, especially in English. And then um, my teacher, I am a teacher in secondary education, also in the English language, so I like English. And I have studied mostly that. And my experience during the years, so okay, about 25 years of experience that I have, 25, 26, who counts, right? I have worked in uh, within support for a couple of years already. And I have worked with English Access a program with the American Embassy. I also worked with the Minister of Education. I don't know if you remember the programs Compite and Competencias Linguisticas that were like, ooh. 2005, 2008, they finish at about 2011 or 12, no, 2014, I guess was the last one. So I was working with them in different uh, public schools or in, uh, institutes around the country. And well, even uh, Metapan, so Jose Alfredo, I have been there to Metapan. I imagine it's very hot right now, right? Okay, that's part of my experience as a teacher. Now, I would like to hear about some of you tell me about you. In the previous courses, we haven't talked about ourselves. So this is the time for you to tell me about you. Who's my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Nubia, thank you, Nubia. And, and you choose the next one. Go on, Nubia. Tell me. Hi, teacher. Hi. Tell me. What, teacher? Um, introduce yourself. Can tell me something about, oh, you, about your job experience, about your academic formation or something. Okay, my name is Nubia Cortez. I work in the uh, make the sign sign for the uh, companies. Mm, I have one daughter and one son. I study uh, marketing. Mm, I live in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you, Nubia. You choose the next one. Who will be the next one? Uh, Victor. Victor. Okay, Victor. Thank you, Nubia. <laughs> <laughs> you are, yeah? Okay, I am Victor Argueta. Um, I am employee. Uh, employee. Employee is right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I am not employer yet. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. Hey, I am knows, right? I am employee. I, I am. Um, I was I was gradu graduate from a quantum uh, a bachelor's degree, uh, and I work like a financial analysis. So uh, my experience 
my working experience is only with numbers about accounting and financial. So, um, some uh, uh, um, at this time, at this yes, this time I work for a USA company. Is in El Salvador is located his uh, administrative um, or like how to say um, administrative task. Mm -hmm. And in USA is the operation. So all, all the administrative activities are here. We are the support for the USA team in all, in all areas, accounting and logistic, um, some, some, and some supporting with, with the marketing too. Excellent. So you will fill in unit number two, like a fish in the water, right? Because unit right. two is about marketing. Ah, uh, yes. That, that'll be your topic, Victor. Okay, okay. great. great okay. Great. Victor, choose the next one. Remember, there are new people. You can choose the new people. Too. There are new people, okay. We, A lot yeah. of new people. So we can choose the new people. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I'm going to choose Mario Ernesto. Okay, Mario, Mario. Elsa, do me a favor, write your complete name, like in your doing. Elsa, Cristina. Elsa, Cristina. Uh -huh. Chavez. Yes, all the, all the complete name. Chavez de Cabrera. Yeah. Do you know where to change your name? The same Alfredo Alas, write your complete name. Let me see. I have some people with only one name and one last name. I need that you add the other name and you add the other last name. Alfredo, Jose Alfredo, Elsa Cristina, let's see who else. Okay. The others are complete now, yeah, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. A ver, tell me who's talking, Mario, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead, Mario. Well, uh, nice to meet you, everybody. Uh, my name is Mario Nesteriana Guerón, like you can see in the screen. Uh, this is my first time here. Uh, it is a pleasure for me to meet you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> first, I, I am 20 years, uh, 26 years old. I am working on, in uh, pharmaceutical as a, um, a maintenance supervisor. Uh, um, I right now I am study. Uh, I am study my master in science computer. And um, I don't know. I think that I am a person very friendly. I uh, if someone wants to give me advice or something like that, or you want to just talk, uh, you can uh, do it freely. Um, uh, I don't know what, uh, what else to tell. Uh, it is a pleasure to me, to, to me, for me to stay here. Okay, thank you, Mario. Nice to meet you. Mario, choose another victim, right? We choose victims here to talk. Who will be the next one? Cristina Chavez. Cristina. Okay, yes. Okay. Cristina. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my name is Cristina. My my long my long name is Elsa Cristina, but I like to tell me um Cristina. You are okay. <laughs> Cristina. And I work for Laboratory Spine. I have worked there. I have worked there for about uh, eleven years, and I started to study English. Uh, English um, for about um, five years or six, maybe. And I glad to be here. And I started uh, before. 
at UCA with a presential uh, system or way for English in Safar. And I started uh, in other schools, for example, La Britannica and other schools. And I did, I did a study uh, from a personal teacher uh, too. And I enjoy it <laughs> when I study with him. And you know, teacher, you know uh, who, who was. <laughs> who was my teacher? <laughs> okay. No, I don't know who was your teacher. Oh, really? I, I think you know him. Probably, <laughs> but I don't know who was your teacher. Oh, your brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. 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 And he is, I'm, and I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I, I'm glad uh, for, to, to, I'm glad to be here. And maybe I want to learn more. And uh, this level is maybe is very interesting because uh, we will know some vocabulary, a new vocabulary that I don't know. We're and talking about business, marketing, and all yeah, those yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's nice to be here. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. We're going to be talking, imagine, about the product life cycle, marketing, branding, loyalty, loyalty on both sides, right? On the uh, customer's side and on the company's side. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last, okay. one last volunteer, Christina. Can you help me choose one? Okay. Uh, Nubia? She was the first one. Nubia okay. was the first one. <clears throat> uh, okay, sorry. And, but I don't know. Let me check, let me check. And Adriana? Adriana Maria or Adriana, Adriana Maria. Sofia? Okay, Adriana. Adriana Maria. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. Can you leave? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, good night, everyone. I'm Adriana Escalante, and this is my first time in this kind of classes. Um, I'm really happy to be here and anxious a little bit. <laughs> and um, I work as a personal assistant and a technology. Uh, of an enterprise of technology. Um, this is an opportunity to learn English because we are trying to make business in the United States. So this is an opportunity to learn more. Thanks. So uh, first God, we are gonna learn and practice because always I feel really nervous when I talking. <laughs> so um, I think there is a great opportunity so it's nice to meet you and thanks okay excellent adriana maria well with the time you will be knowing each other because uh, if i give you the time to all of you we will not have class right I mean, we have to so <coughs> during the course you will get uh, to know each other right you will have the chance to work with other partners in the groups and to share the, your experiences. Check. We're going to talk about some of the requirements that we have here in the program. Remember, you have to write your name, your complete name when you enter the platform every day, right? Every day, watch that your name is complete in the platform. I have two listeners. In the case of the listeners, I have only two. Let me see. Can you say Claudia, the name? Claudia Guadalupe and Mauricio Emilio. Uh, uh, in the case of the listeners, you have to put oyente next to the next to the name, right? Like that in parentheses, right? So you put oyente. 
And of course, the complete name, right? Remember, it is necessary to have the camera open all the time during all the class and try to minimize the sound, right? The environment sound that we have, that we may have around. Sometimes I know it's difficult because the neighbors are the ones that make the noise and we have no way. But uh, let's try to do as much as possible, right? So you minimize the noise around so we can hear the class very well. And another thing, the participation is very important. So don't be quiet. Tell me, Mario Ernesto, I see you have a question. Uh, what is uh, oyentes? What is the difference between oyentes and, and someone that don't have a camera? We don't have mm -hmm. a selfie. Mm -hmm. What I understand is that oyente, you know, when you register, you know if you will be as oyente because you handed the documents late. But I have only two oyentes. For the following course, you can be like, normal right no like oyente anymore right now I have Claudia Guadalupe and Mauricio Emilio only two people that are go that are oyentes oigan ellos son los únicos que se ponen oyentes los demás no se me pongan oyentes porque ustedes son este participantes no oyente, pero, o sea, sí van a estar oyendo. Pero, An pero, additional pero, teacher. Tell me. We don't have certificate. Exactly. You don't get a certificate when you are oyente, right? Mm -hmm. Because the certificate comes from INSAFORP. And if you, have, if you are oyente, you do not receive a certificate, but you have to complete with, comply with the attendance. You always have to do the, the platform. We're going to talk about the platform later. And the attendance has to be complete and the platform too. So that means that you can pass normally like the others, but you do not receive a, a, a diploma. But the next course, you can be included in the normal list. Right, that's the difference. Okay, going back to participation. Remember that participation is very important. When I send you to the rooms, I what I expect is that you're there ready to discuss with your partners and to talk. Don't worry if you have a very good English or not, or if you have problems with the topic, you can read a little bit, discuss, learn from your partners. Uh, give your opinions, share what you know, uh, because that's, that's the purpose, right? I always send you to the rooms for you to go share with others, to go discuss questions. And the, the idea is that uh, sometimes in the big group, there is no time for everybody to share, but in the small group is the moment for you to interact a little bit more. Right, So you can talk with the others, share with them, learn from them, help them if necessary, right? That's, that's the moment for that. And of course, in the general group too, right? Uh, participate and, and give your opinion as much as you can. Now, talking about the platforms and the attendance and all those things, check. Uh, you know that the attendance is mandatory. It is 100% uh, of classes, the, the attendance, right? And it is not just to be here connected. It's not, oh, I'm connected, so I have the attendance. But that's not the purpose. Remember that the purpose is that you register to these courses is that you learn something, right? And if you really want to learn, it's not just being connected, but being connected the two hours and being active to participating and everything, right? Um, we check attendance three times during the day or during the class. The first one is at eight, the second is at nine, and the last one is at 9.55, or it can be at 10 o'clock too, right? So those are the three attendances that I pass. 
And remember, this is, remember these instructions, I have invented them, right? They come from English Corporativo. And it says that the attendance is valid when you tell me present and you have your camera open, right? So it is a requirement to have the camera open. When your camera is open, I know you're active. When your camera is not open, I don't know if you just connected, especially if I ask you and you do not answer, okay? Now, at the end of the class, we have a session, the 10 minutes each time, right? So one-on-one, -on -one, that is a special moment for you to ask questions, for you to make comments. If you have questions of the, that class or, if a, or from a previous class or about any special topic that you have problems with, you can... Uh, Go making your questions, right? Keeping them. It doesn't mean that you cannot ask questions the rest of the class. But if you have something very, very specific, you can take advantage of these 10 minutes, right? Um, the, the order goes, that goes in alphabetical order according to the attendance list. So, Number one in the list, Adriana Maria, you are number one. Adriana Sofia, you are number two. That means you have to stay tomorrow, Adriana Sofia. And Adriana Maria, you will stay with me today. Yeah? So, uh, if, checking, in this case, if any moment you cannot stay because you have something to do or whatever situation, you can ask a partner to change the, this one-on-one -on -one session with you, right? So if you say, oh, I have problem next Monday when I have to stay, Rosie, can we change? And if Rosie can, she will tell you, yeah, sure, why not? No problem. But if you do not find a Teacher, a question. Say, mm -hmm, tell me. In, in my last model, uh, I was uh, like a... Uh, listener to and mm -hmm. I don't have 10 minutes for me uh, because I was listener uh, yeah in this but model the, was the same uh-huh you were not uh, you didn't stay the 10 minutes but you see it especially when you are 20 and you do not have uh, the so you're 20 and we have 20 classes we go exactly the number, right? But in this case, we are 20, okay, we're 22, 22, 22, 22, yeah, you're 22. So I will say you can stay uh, yeah, at the end when we're about to finish the course after the other 20 have passed. And there will be space for three more people to repeat in any of the other dates, right? Because we have 25 classes and you're 22. So you will have, uh, mm, I will have a space for three people if in any moment you want to stay, yeah? So don't worry, we will have your one-on-one -on -one, uh, session even at the end. We may have it at the end after, after day 20. Okay, with the permissions, I know, uh, and I and I appreciate that you let me know when you're going to be absent because I prefer that you tell me, teacher, I'm absent because I'm still working, or I'm absent because something happened to me, or because I'm sick, and I really appreciate that. But uh, English Corporativo says permission no available, right? So. I can see you and I can say, oh, I'm so sorry that you are sick and everything, but you know, and that's why I say, I, I really appreciate it because that's part of the respect that you have to me, right? When you let me know that you're going to be absent to a class and that I'm, I'm really glad that you do that. But even if you're letting me know that you will be absent, you know that in the list, I will put absent. Right? 
in the list, it will be absent even when you notify. But it is good that you let me know so uh, I know that you're absent, not because you want to be absent, but because you have a good reason for being absent. Now, uh, talking about the evaluations, in the platform, we have uh, some assignments. I haven't gone to the platform this time, last course and the previous one, I had already checked all the platform, but uh, at this time I have not checked the platform, but I would think that we continue the same, right? So we go. Uh, first week, unit number one, second week, Oh, second unit goes with uh, always five assignments, but what happened last course was that for second or oh, for unit number two, we had two classes, one assignment, two classes, one assignment. Oh yeah, we have exactly the same. So unit number two, we have class number six and class number seven and then the assignment. The unit, the next will be class number eight, class number nine, and the following assignment. But I want to ask you something, check. Uh, because this at the end, we forget, we lose the track that we had before of doing one assignment every day. So, what we are going to be doing here for you not to lose the track of, yeah, I have assignment every day. The day when you do not have an assignment in the platform, I'm going to send you one link for you to do something based on that class, okay? Because if no, what I have noticed in the previous courses is that we lose the track of doing homework. And that's not the idea. So the day, for example, session number six, no assignment. I'm going to send you a link of a game where you will be practicing something or a video or something for you to practice. And you know that session number seven, you have assignment in the platform, so no link. Session number eight, I will send you again a link for you to practice something, and you know that session number nine, you have assignment. And here, oh, let me see with the dates. We have week number, week number one, that will be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, finishing uh, Tuesday the 27th. The following will be Tuesday the 4th, and that means that our platform has to be complete for Monday the 10th. Aquí le vamos a poner, oops, sorry. Monday, Monday the 10th, will platform be complete? So be sure. Or we can leave it for Friday, the previous one. Don't leave it for the last time. October. Okay, before midnight, but you know, I always tell you before 11, right? Because I'm not going to wait, you, wait for you until midnight. I'm going to wait for you until 11 when the, uh, you, when the video finishes transforming. After midnight, la cindirela se le hizo cal la calabaza, no como era la carroza, se le hizo calabaza, ¿verdad? Es que no, I'm not going to wait for you until midnight. I'm going to wait for you until 11. After 11, it will be incomplete. So remember that. 
on the course begin, uh, finishes on the 25th, that's Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, 25th of October. That day, you should have uh, the platform complete. Again, I'm not going to wait for you until midnight. I'm going to wait for you until 11, 11, because the teacher has to work the next day, so the teacher has to sleep. De acuerdo? Yes. Yes, yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Bye. No worry, teacher. No worry. <laughs> Thank you. So please do not make me chase you in the group looking for your number to send you a message and say, Fulanito, you haven't completed this unit. Every, every, every week, remember. First week, I collect next Tuesday, I will be collecting the grades for unit number one, right? Next Tuesday. ¿Cuánto es el martes próximo? 27th, right? September 27th, I'm going to be collecting grades for unit number one. And on Monday, October 10th, I will be collecting the grades for unit number two and the midterm exam. Remember there you have the unit two and the midterm exam. For the following week, if I'm not, let me see, hmm, hmm, October 18, October 18, you should have complete unit number three and for October 25th, unit number four, and the final exam. Okay, that's how the dates go. I'm going to send you a square with the dates every single week for you to remember that the platform has to be complete for that date. Okay, remember, for teachers, the end of the year is crazy. So please do not make me stay awake more than the necessary. Be responsible. I understand you're very busy, but remember that me too, okay? So please, next Tuesday platform should be complete. Yes, platform with unit one should be complete. Unit, of, uh, unit two, October the 10th, should be complete by 11 p.m. And unit, a, unit three for October 18 should be complete. And the last one, October 25th. Okay, why am I repeating the same and the same thing again? Because I always get somebody here the last day of the course with unit three for an exam incomplete. And that makes me stay until midnight or after waiting for you to finish. Please do not do that to me. Don't do that to me. Okay. Because next day I start classes at seven o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. De acuerdo? Cuentas claras. Cuentas claras. Y si no, yo el 25 de octubre a las 11 pongo cero en la lista. Strike. Perfecto. Dice soldado avisado, no comes guerra avisada, no mata soldados, por favor. Right. Ok. Vaya, check the, the, the manual. You can download the manual from the platform. I was checking the platform and I saw that there are a couple of people I'm going to enter now again as a teacher. Uh, there are some people who haven't entered the platform yet. So be sure that you register in the platform, especially if you are new, you do not have an account. I'm going to tell you the names of the people that I have in the platform. 
Adriana María, Adriana Sofía, Ana Alicia, Claudia Guadalupe, Cruz Antonio, David, Elmer Fabricio, Elsa Cristina, Félix Enrique, eh, Florán Germán, Arfrom Ingres Corporativo, Grace Michelle, Yvonne, Jennifer Elizabeth, José Alfredo, José Alberto, <laughs> Alberto, you continue with José Roberto here. Well, Carla Lorena, eh, Mauricio Emilio, Nubia, Rebeca, and Rosy. Eh, che, ah, Victor Manuel, right? So check. The, the other people that I haven't mentioned, remember you got an email? Uh, like uh, last week, right? Or, or probably the previous one, I got it on the 17th of September. So I got the first one on the 14th of September. So you can look for it in that in those dates and check that there is a link for you to enter the platform. So be sure, be sure that you can enter the platform. And if you have any problems to enter the platform, you let me know, no next Tuesday. Let me know tomorrow the latest, okay? So I can report to Inglés Corporativo and they can help you enter the platform as soon as possible. Is that clear for you? Who was no mention? Who was no mention? Mario. Hmm? Mario. Me. Mario. Vaya, Mario. Check the email that you received and go to the link that says, eh, quiero ver como dice, you, you are, you are URL de plataforma de aprendizaje. That is where you have to enter and you have to register with your name. Cheque, allí dice usuario, no ponga un, una abreviación, ponga su nombre completo. Ok. Hola. URL de plataforma de, de aprendizaje. Si quieren, se los comparto en el chat de, de acá. So you enter, you enter there. Vamos a ver, where, okay, chat, chat. You enter and you register, but register with your whole name. Don't write, it says usuario, right? But the usuario is the name that you have or that you have used to register to Inglés Corporativo, right? So be sure that at the end, tomorrow, you have entered. If you have any problem with password or whatever, let me know so I can ask for help to support the technical. And then they call you and they help you to enter the platform. But that has to be the latest tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we know if you can enter or not, and we can help you with that. Any questions up to here? Tell me, Mario. Uh, I was wondering if you can share that link for me or for somebody. I pay, check Mario in the chat of, of Zoom. I am checking right now. I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. I pasted it in the chat. Okay. Ask if someone else can see. See it. Oh, so sorry. I can see. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so sorry. David sent me a message and I pasted it. It went directly to David. Okay. Let me paste it again. Okay, now that goes for everybody. That's why only David could see it. Okay, now, can no. you see that one? Yes. Check no. that you need, um, you need a username. It's not the email, it's not an abbreviation. No is your complete name, right? That is your name. So when you appear, uh, if your name is, for example, Adriana Maria, you register as Adriana Maria. So when I'm looking for your name and the list, it matches, right? 
it goes exactly there. No me pongan primero apellido y después nombre, sino que nombre, no, los dos nombres y el apellido. So at the moment I go to, to collect the grades, it's easier because the list and the platform have the name exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Did you download the manual? Do you have the manual? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, everybody has the manual or you want me to share it with you in the chat? Mm. Do it, teacher, please. Okay, I'm going to put it in the chat of WhatsApp. Uh, all of you registered to the chat of WhatsApp, right? Yes, yes, yes. Check that in the email that you received, uh, there is a link for you to join the WhatsApp group. So be sure, be sure that you have entered the WhatsApp group because uh, Zoom gets crazy when I start sharing a lot of information. So the pages that you're going to read that are not in the manual, so exercises or extra information, I share it through the WhatsApp group. I don't share it through, through Zoom, right? Because if no, I get here until 1 or 12 midnight trying to to transform the video, okay? So that's why I use the chat or the WhatsApp uh, group. Are all of you in the WhatsApp group? Yes? Yes, yes I am. Yes, for sure. No, I'm not. No? Oh, espérenme, miren qué bonita la teacher. Les mandé el manual a los facilitadores, no ustedes. Vaya, eh, please, try to join. Eh, Unanse ahorita. I have seen two new people have just joined. Do you have the link to join? If no, I'm going to paste the link for you to join the WhatsApp group there too in the chat. And I don't open. Vaya. I'm going to paste the link for you to join the, the group. And as you tell me, teacher, we are in, I'm going to share the mano so all of you can get it. That's the, that's the link for the WhatsApp group. Check if you have entered. Ready, ready? Yes. Hmm. We are 24. Not everybody in. I have one, two. One, two, three. Well, a lot of people from English Corporativo. Uh, what about you? Three, four, five, six, seven. No, no están todos todavía. Be sure that you have entered the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. I have another one here. Nice. Anybody else is missing? No, nobody else. If nobody, you are twenty six, teacher. Mm hmm. She. But of those 26, that's me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people from English Corporativo. That means that you are only 19, right? You're not all here.
Who's missing? But I'm going to share the manual now. And I'm asking you because the ones that join after I share the manual, you won't see the manual. The manual is in the file, says. Uh, yeah, it is there. But I'm sharing it here in the WhatsApp group because sometimes you want to open it from the from the from the cell phone, right? And you can easily get it there. Did you see it? I share it there already. Thank you, teacher. I have. Welcome. Basha. If somebody joins later, we will cheer again so you can see it. Okay, perfect. No questions here, right? No? No, teacher, thank you. We start on no. page nine. I'm teacher. Yeah, okay. With the platform, uh, just getting to remember, especially for the new ones, remember we have some buttons that we're going to be using one silence, right? A camera open, chat, the breakout rooms, I'm going to be sending you to breakout rooms every day. And there is a button to ask for help. You have it. I don't have that button to ask for help. And if you are in the rooms and you want to call the teacher, you can call me, right? So that's something that you can do. And before, well, no, I cannot share yet. Mm -hmm. Now we will see this video. That is a new requirement that we have gotten to share with you uh, this video about uh, Centro de Formación. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I'm going to program for everybody to cheer later, right? Okay, there we go. Let's watch the video. Tell me if you can hear. Yes. Yes, we can watch it. You can watch, you can see and you can hear, right? I hear yes. just a little bit. Yes, did you? Let me see the volume. What about now? A little bit. Give me a second. Nos hemos dedicado. What about now? Better? That's yeah. a better. better. That's a better. Yeah. Okay, there we go. El INSAFOR ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más. En un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo. 
contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaport. Insaport Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport, Trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional, INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres en los centros de formación tipo donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijo. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Okay. Well, let's go back. That's the video that we have about all the, the courses that you can take within support, right? Do you have any question? No teacher, the attendance. Okay, we'll see. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Let's see. Stop sharing. Vamos a ver who are here. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Hello. Microphone. Ah, ya se me durmió. Present. Ok. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sí, ya le oí. <coughs> eh, Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. 
Los Antonio. Not here. My turn. Okay. David Alexander. Present teacher. Nice, David. Eddie. Eddie Jonathan. Hmm? Not here. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix Enrique. Present. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace, no here, Grace. Yvonne Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jose Alberto. <coughs> Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mario. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Novia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, Claudia, no. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Okay. Bueno. Well, we're going to make a review of the present perfect. What do you remember? How do you how do we use? Uh, the present perfect. A ver, what's the structure that we use for the present perfect? Hmm? Do you remember? Nobody. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. yes. Um, what is the structure of the present perfect? A subject. Uh -huh. The auxiliary has. Uh -huh. And then the past progressive. The Depart verb in past progressive. Okay. In complement. The, okay. By a check. We have, for example, here. It has rain, right? It has rain. So we have, as, as a structure in the present perfect, we have, have or has, have or has, depending on the, on the subject, right? You have to be careful if we have a, it, he or she, we are going to use has. But That's if okay. we have I, you, we, and they, we are going to use have. And to that, you will add the verb in the past participle. Yeah, That's the past participle of the verb, which is the past participle. When you see any list of verbs, the Third line of the verbs is the past participle. Participle, puse yo aquí. My brain is saying one thing and I am writing a different one. Okay, participle. Past participle and I said <laughs> past progress. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, it's okay. You were very close. <laughs> you were very close. So you see, we had have or has. If it is, remember, he, she, it, we use has. I, exactly. you, we, they, we use have. And the exactly. verb in the past participle, right? Something to remember. The regular verbs, the past simple and the past participle is exactly the same. Irregular verbs, the past 
participle changes in some cases, in most of the cases, right? But in some others, no. Okay, what about this one? What about number two? We, we have, I, we have, we have, we have, never played. We have never played, yes. Played. Uh -huh. We have never played tennis. Mm -hmm. We have never played tennis. Number three, I. I ha I has. I I have or I has. Have. Have. I, I have. have. I have. Just. Mm -hmm. I have just lost. Uh -huh. I have just lost. Remember, we, or, we use just when we're talking about something that you did very short time before, right? So you say, I have just lost my keys. Hey, I have them here in my hands and now no more. So I have just lost my keys. What about number two? Who? Teacher, the, the, past, the past participle for lose is lost or lost. is lost. And the past simple past is the same. Mm -hmm. Lost. Okay. Yeah, lost. That's why I was telling you with the irregular one, with the regular ones, past simple, past participle is exactly the same. With the irregular ones, some cases the verb changes, but there are some cases when it is exactly the same. That's why it is necessary to keep them here, right? So we have to memorize them. Because there are some others like put, 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 cut, 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 cast, 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 uh, read, read, read. You sound, the pronunciation changes, but the spelling is exactly the same, present, past, past, participle, right? So you have to be very careful. What is the form of the verb that you need there? Because in some cases, the verb changes and the past participle is totally different, but there are some cases when the verb is exactly the same as the simple past. And lost is one of those cases, right? Lose, lost, lost. Okay, what about number four? Have called you recently. Okay, when we use who, we has. are going to use the verb in, in singular, right? Has. has. Who has called you recently? Called. Yeah. Who has called you recently? Very good. Number five. Why have. Why. Why. You. Have. Mm -hmm. have. Have. Have you. Why have you pushed? Mm -hmm. Push me. Push. Push. It's a push. <laughs> push. Why have you pushed me? Yeah. Why have you pushed me? Number six. Paul. Paul has. has mm -hmm. Just. Paul has just. Uh, has has just uh, had. Paul has just had an accident. Number seven, my sister just has just. My sister has just. Okay. What's the gone. past participle of go? Uh -huh. Gone. Gone. Yes, my sister has just gone to bed. Um, mm -hmm. Number eight. She, she has not. Yeah, she has not. She hasn't. 
Oh, we exactly. We can use the short form, right? She ha she hasn't, hasn't read. Mm -hmm. She hasn't read. Remember, we have read, read, read. The spelling is the same, but the pronunciation changes, right? What about number nine? They have been. They have been. Yes. They have been. They have been here. We're going to make a change here for a long, knowing a long. They have been here for a long time. Okay, number 10. Where have you have you been? Have or has? Been. Have. Mm -hmm. Where have. have you been? Yeah, where have you been this week? Where have you been this week? Okay, good. Now you refresh. Now it's your turn for you to work with your partners. I'm going to send you, well, I'm going to send you the sentences to the chat, to the chat of WhatsApp. Yes, let me stop sharing. I'm going to send you the sentences to the chat of WhatsApp and you're going to work with your partners in groups of three, right? This calls to complete the sentences. Okay. Saber, you're 17. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make six groups. One group will be of just two people. Okay, there you go. Try to join. Remember, the, the exercise is in the chat of WhatsApp. So you can see there, you can share your screen. I already gave you permission for you to share and be ready to work. There you go. Join, join. Try to join Victor and Elmer, Jose Alfredo. Victor. Sí, 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 sí. Remember that you have to use a passive voice, passive voice, present perfect to complete the sentences, right? You can share, Carlita. I already gave you permission for you to share. Thank you, Dick. The window is open. So. Someone. Someone has opened open. open the window.
teacher, but this is an imagine. It's an I can I can change. Let me let me let me see if I can put the presentation. But that's not the one. Espérame que le puse la viejita. La viejita. La viejita. La que ya es mm -hmm. Ahí está. Vaya, cheque si hoy puede escribir. No, igual no la va a dejar escribir. No, it won't let you write. What you can do, Carlita, is open eh, or paste the, the, the photo. Paste the photo in another in another page and you write the sentences on the on that page que no recuerdo si era hi hi hello <laughs> help <me>. help help <laughs> tell me, tell me. Um, remember remember no no remember, teacher. What? Topic. Is, remember the exercise we were just doing? The exercise mm -hmm. we were just doing is exactly the same. Use the has or have? Exactly. Um, okay. Some has. Sería, the window is open some has to open the window. Someone has. ¿Cómo has. tiene que ser el verbo? ¿Qué les dije? ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo? En pasado participio. Exactly. Vamos a acordar. Sería <laughs> <laughs> has. Open. 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 Someone has. Open the window. Mm -hmm. Window is open, someone has opened the window. Open the window. The window. Always have or has and the verb in past participle. Oh, yeah. 
He has drunk. He has drunk the water. Okay. Drunk. Drunk is D R U and K. K. Okay. Drunk. Se escribe drunk. Drunk. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's a call in the room. Emma has has tor turned on the air turned the air in the air condition Got it. Did you finish? Yes. I finished with the number eight. Okay. Number two. Okay. And then Seria has turned on. Has turned on the air conditioning. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Do you want to read it? I read them already. <laughs> ya se las escaneé todas. Oh, bye. <laughs> I'm going to start to read. Approve. We approve. Someone has opened the window. Who goes next? David? Mande? Number two? My hair. No, I have washed my hair. Mm -hmm. Washed. I have washed my hair. Washed. Es que a veces se me pierde la idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have washed. My hair. Now what's my hair? Yeah. Breve. We have painted the walls. Mm -hmm. No one has broken our TV. Yes. They have finished their homework. We have eaten the food. Yes. He has drunk the water. Emma has turned on. The air, the air conditioning. The air conditioning. Very good. Great. Great. Ya casi nos vamos. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, no, no. No, no, no es negativa. Yes, there is because, no because, in the fridge. Because if you say, or TV <coughs> don't work, you are say uh, the next phrase explain why is broke so if you say a negative form uh, you are saying the same so if you say affirmative you are saying and um, why the tv don't work in this case because someone has broken what is the past participle of, of break? Break, brock? Brock. Brock. Broken. Break, brock, broken. With N instead of D. Mm. Oh. Yes. Change the letter D for N. Mire, Conchelito. Estamos improvisando. Oh, I remember yeah. when I was in high school. <laughs> vieja escuela, teacher. Exactly. Exactly. I remember when I was in high school. And I used the, the, the type writer and I had <laughs> that liquid. But you, you, you had the Chelito Lab bottle? Yes. Or? 
pencil. Yeah. And the paper too. Remember the paper that you put to the typewriter, then you typed again and it erased the letters. Uh -huh. Yeah, someone has broken our TV. Good. What about number six? How? Mm -hmm. oh. We have to edit it. We have, it's not obligation, right? Remember, it's not obligation, it's present perfect. Uh, I in the food. I have. No, we have. Eat in the food. Have eaten the food. Exactly. <coughs> Number seven. Yeah. There is no water in the bottle. He drunk the water. He drunk. Drunk. Algo así. You? Drunk. No. Oh, no, no, no. D R U N K, drunk. He has drunk the water. Well, I co I'm calling you. You have one minute. Okay. Me salí sin querer teacher antes. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Anyway, now minute. Can, can you come back? Uh, I don't think so, because I already called you. Then there is about uh, close. This meeting is being recorded. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, recording. Everybody here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect, perfect. A ver. The window is open. Someone? Has opened the window. Yes, yeah, somebody has, has, opened. Open, has opened, right? Opened. Remember uh, when we add ed uh, or when we pronounce with d sound, t sound, or ed sound at the end, right? In this case, we say opened, opened, washed, washed. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody or oh, someone has opened the window. My hair is clean. I, I have. have. I have washed, yes, I have washed my hair. I have washed my hair, very good. The walls are blue now, we have paint. Paint, 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 paint it. When the word finishes in T-O-D, we pronounce it painted. Okay, painted. Painted, ended, painted. Mm -hmm. We have painted the walls, very good. Our TV doesn't work, someone. Someone key. Has, Has. Turn, turn it down, turn it down, turn mm -hmm. it on. What's your verb? Turned. The birds broke. So broken. Oh, sorry. It's quick. <laughs> Are you moving to the broken? Uh -huh. so this word, this word 
has broken. Broken, yeah. Someone has broken our TV, right? Someone has broken our TV. Their homework is ready. They, they have they, or they has? They have. Mm -hmm. They have. They have. They have. have. <laughs> Teacher. Okay. They have. Okay. Finish. Finish it. Right? Finished. 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 Remember when you see the Finished. sound. Shh, shh, that's shh. If you have this sound, it's shh. Te. 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 Right? This is shh. Pero este es shh. You see the difference? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. Right? So we say finished, washed. Right? Now let's see number six. There is no food in the fridge. We have. We haven't. Ah, we have, we have haven't. No, we have. We have eaten. We have eaten. Eaten. We have eaten the food. Sí, porque si no me lo hubiera comido hubiera. Pero no hay. <laughs> right. Yeah. We have eaten it's, the food. Great. It's good. Yes. Number. In, in Spanish, so. Redundante, ¿no? Mm, nos hemos comido. Nos hemos La comido. comida. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, exactly. Ajá. But, uh, that, that sounds monótono, right? But in English, you can eat the food and you can ask a question. But in Spanish, preguntar una pregunta, ¿no? ¿Verdad? But in English, you can say, I ask a question. And no problem, because the verbs are different. And the noun is different too. A ver, number seven. There is no water in the bottle. He? He have or he has? Has. has he has drunk. He has drunk. Drunk. Drunk the water. Exactly. The water. Drink, drunk, drunk, right? Uh, he has drunk the water. It is cold in the room, Emma. Has. Mm -hmm. Very good. Emma has. Emma has que? Turned. <laughs> Turn. 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 Right? Turn on. Emma has turned on the air conditioning. Yes, Emma has turned on the air conditioning. Okay. Teacher, in, in English, is normal says AC? Hmm? When you say uh, air conditioning? You say air conditioning. What is normal says AC? No. No. Okay, thank no. you. It's better to say it complete, the air conditioning. Because if not, you may confuse, right? Okay, well, we won't do that. We will go to these questions beginning unit number one. Have you ever participated in the development of a new product? Remember we were saying that last course? What is a product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market? Hmm, how popular is it now? What determines the length of the product life cycle? For example, uh, your cell phone. Sometimes, depending on the use we give to the, pro to the product, 
we hope it lasts more because you say, but I have taken care of myself on the well. But why after a year, it is dead. The battery doesn't charge anymore and I cannot use it anymore and I have to get another one because the product life is like set at the beginning when they sent the product out. Many cases, not always, right? But what determines the length of the product life cycle. So what determines how long will my product live? Just saying that in different form, right? What determines the life of my product? Mm -hmm. sometimes the people people accept it aha uh, uh -huh, but the life imagine my phone i bought my phone last year i bought it i don't remember the month i guess it was march or something like that it's still working fortunately right and i maybe, know maybe the sorry uh, maybe the innovation okay that is one thing, that's one thing, the innovation, we get a new product and we want that new product. But if my cell phone continues working, this the product life hasn't ended, right? But there are products, la, como le llaman, it's something that is programmed, right? It is programmed that it will last one year, for example, my, my printer, it has a number of, of pages to print and also two years. So we buy, we bought it and we know that it will last one more year and then after a year, it is dead. $200 for 200 years, for two years, right? So it has one more year of life. And in one more year, dead. No more printer. And I have to get a different one because it is programmed from the company that it, the life that it will have. So they tell you a number of, of printings or this amount of time and they are sometimes they are programmed and ready for living only that time so in two years i have to buy a new printer because the one i have is not going to work anymore right okay but let's go back to question number one i'm not going to send you to the groups right now because ooh, we have only 50 minutes right have you ever participated in the development of a new product? Hmm? Yes, no. Have you ever of a new no. product? No? Um, no? No new product like that, but a product maybe that the company do uh, not provide. Mm -hmm. Can be a product or service. What product or service? Uh, service, service. Yeah. Can be a service. Have you ever participated in the development of a new service? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. What is that service or that product that your company has recently introduced to the market? What is uh, it? Really, we, como se dice, Empezamos a hacerlo, lo que no es que, que lo, lo, lo hayamos inventado. Ajá, you began. You, be, you have just begun. We just began to, to do it that uh, is um, part of the import of the um, things because we have a, a company uh, that works in Acajutla port. 
and we see all the logistics uh, and we provide transport too. So we provide logistic solutions and transport. And we uh, begin to do uh, a thing about the import importations of products. That is the new, the new service that you're offering. Okay. Yes. How popular is it now? Is that very popular? Is that product or service you are offering now popular? Not, not a much because mm -hmm. we have a other service that is more straight. Okay, okay. Mario Ernesto, do you have an answer there to that question? Hey, yeah, uh, I work in a pharmacy. Uh, um, a product that recently has uh, sent out to the market, it is called a uh, foco, focoferon. It's a juice that you can drink uh, when, you, when you are sick, uh, when you are especially a uh, short word, uh, that uh, give, uh, give you, uh, well, well, that uh, have the ability to, to to let the, the pain in your throat um, uh, help you to, to feel good. Oh, that's for people who has a cold. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is the name? Can you repeat? Poco Ferron. Poco Ferron. Okay. Vaya it's, it's, <laughs> Vaya it's made from it's made yes, from teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is made of what were you saying, Mario? Cocote. Cocote. Oh, really? So that yeah. means it has yeah, bite. It's made from the leaf of cocote. Oh. So that has a lot of vitamin C, I imagine. Right? Yeah. Okay. Teacher, I need sample. Ajá, <laughs> ya. Yeah. Imagine, jocote, ferrón. Me suena a vitamina C con hierro. <laughs> right? Okay. Pero so, jarabe para la tos, ¿verdad? Ajá. But it's for the cold or for the cough? For the cough, I think. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Okay. Now, what about question number four? What determines the length of the product life cycle? We will come back to that question in a couple of minutes, check. This is the, the product life, right? So we go to the introduction, then the growth of the product, the maturity, maturity and then it starts to decline or we have a product extension. Any of the two things may happen there, right? So that's why uh, companies have to be very careful as they introduce a product because if it is accepted by the people, it starts growing. But there is a moment when that gets mature, right? And that's why, have you seen that there are products that you say, but it was very good what happened to it. Because when you go uh, some years later to look for it, they tell you, no, it's not discontinuado, it doesn't exist anymore. It's because after a product gets to the maturity, maturity it starts to decline, unless it goes on the opposite direction, that it goes to an extension. And then you get like, products of the same family, we can say, but having new characteristics for the product, right? They extend to other characteristics, or if not, they decline, unless they are Coca-Cola, that it never dies. <laughs> Commercial for Coca-Cola. Okay, check. Here, we have this table. It's okay. Say, that's the... 
energetic. <laughs> okay, look at this. Here we have some definitions of the words we were mentioning before, right? The introduction, decline, growth, maturity. Uh, what you're going to do now is look at the definitions on this side and then match them to the appropriate phase. These are the phase or the steps, right? For a product cycle. So the product goes like, right? That's like a cycle. Okay, let's match. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. Let's do the matching and then we will check. Let me know when you're ready. 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 Okay. Everybody ready? Yes, yes. A ver. The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales staff and the producers should start making decisions about discontinuing the product buying out competitors or selling it to another producer? Decline. 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 I gave you an example, right? Okay. And at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be low and marketing efforts try to develop branding quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. Market introduction. Okay. The growth. Um, for the next one or for that one, David? Okay, well, let's go to the next one. The growth in sales decreases uh, because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts work to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than the previous stages. What is it? My authority. Maturity, yes. And the last one. The new product registers an increase in demand because more customers accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. It's growth. That's growth. Very good. Yes. Growth. Questions? Hmm? No questions. No teacher. Okay. Okay, everything clear. Perfect, perfect. Now, I'm going to send you to the groups like okay, three minutes just for you to practice this conversation. In your manual, in your manual, you check what page? Page number nine in your manual. There you will find that conversation. Read it, practice it with your partners. Let me see. 17, I'm going to make groups. There will be one trio, okay? Try to join. You have three minutes to practice the conversation and then I call you back. Try to join, Felix. Can you see the call? 
Nice. Um, if if you want, you can start as Gina. Okay. Okay. Uh, <coughs> have you tried the new Greek tor tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually called chips with the avocado flavor. Hi, Nubia. Ah, ahí está Adriana María. Hi, hi. Can you see my, can you watch my screen? Okay. I think that this is the conversation. I don't see well that page number nine. Nine, yes. Okay. If you want, you can be Gina and I want to be Nelson. <laughs> it's a practice that, that um, conversation? Yes. Yes. I am Jean. If you want, I'm okay with Nelson. <laughs> Have you tried the new green tortillas? That, it sounds like tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mm, they sound delicious. Yep. They're, they're not everywhere, yet only low prices market sell them at that moment. Let's back up. Okay. Try, try again. How would you try the new green tortricas? Uh, what's that? It sounds like tortillas. They are actuality. Corn chip with avocado flour. Um, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere yet. Only low prices market says that at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Son tortillas, me imagino. Son tortillas. Tortillas. Tenemos hambre. Yes. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, teacher. Yeah. It's okay. time for dinner, for the second dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, right. let's go. We have one minute to go back. Okay. 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 Almost, almost, almost. Well, oh, see, sí, vienen corriendo, vienen. <laughs> Okay, let's see, 33 seconds. ¿Por qué será, teacher? ¿Por qué será que vienen corriendo? Pero sí que volaron. Teacher. <laughs> Tell me, Mauricio. I have a question. Uh, with my partner, we discuss uh, about a uh, word. Uh -huh. I hear uh, some gringos uh -huh. says tortillas ah uh, because they don't care uh, no it's because of the they cannot say tortilla they tell but, viola so, their time is sounds viola. fun sounds fun they cannot say soila <laughs> no but sounds fun 
Yeah, yeah. But, but it's the, uh, they, they say it like that because they cannot do that pronunciation. They can say yeah. Uh -huh. Imagine yeah. in my case, like the V in English is V. They take me Viola. Ni Zoila siquiera, no que es Viola. Because they they get like uh, that's some weird. Yeah, I know. I know. And they have problems with the, with some pronunciations of some names. Mm -hmm. But that is uh, okay. It's not like you say tortilla, right? But they cannot say tortilla. That's why they say it. <laughs> and in as in English, many words are greeting with double L, but at the end you pronounce it like one L. But in the case of tortilla, tortilla is tortilla, right? That is only for gringos. They, they say right. tortillas. Exactly. Exactly. Because they sí, are. Sí, <laughs> yes, because they are so familiarized with that sound that uh, there are many words in English that have double L, but at the end they are pronounced like one L. That's why they make the same relation here. But for us, tortillas are in Spanish, right? I, I saw a video mm -hmm. talking about that. For example, uh, other word, and this knows the word, say, they say Carolina Herrera. Ah, yes. En lugar de decir Carolina Herrera. Exactly, exactly. But it's, it's, it's the typical pronunciation that they have because of their accent. Mm -hmm. That's why but they- it's, But it's wrong. Yeah, but it's valid for, if you are American, that's valid. If you're Salvadorian, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, well, let's go for the last attendance. Adriana Maria, you stay with me at the end, right? Let's see, Adriana Maria present. Present. Okay, Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Luz Antonio. Present. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix Enrique. Present. Grace Michelle. Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. No such thing. Mm -hmm. I remember Yvonne Marcela told me the present once. Right here. Uh, Jennifer, no here, right? Jose Alberto, Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. I'm here. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Oh, you're there. Okay. Eh, Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Vaya, check in. Today, as the first day of class, we go over a lot of things and we didn't cover much material, but tomorrow we will be ready to work a little bit more. Okay, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Rest. Go Good sleep. Tomorrow. Good night. Good See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good
Hi, Adriana, how are you? Hmm? How are you? Microphone. Uh -huh. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Let's okay. Let's see. Ya le oigo. Ajá. Okay. Tell me. Do you have any questions? Any comments? Is it your first time? We, I hope to, to, we can work a lot, right? Because that's the purpose that you practice the language a lot and you have all the, the chance to expose to all the material, right? And to all the things um, that some of them are new for you. Some others probably are not new because there are many things that... Uh, that we have, that you have studied in previous courses that for example the present perfect that's something that you studied last well last course and before but some people didn't remember right so it's something to go refreshing and so you get more familiarized with that with the language and with the structures. Se le corta un poquito, Adri. You can hear me now? Yeah, much better. Much better. I have a problem with my microphone. Yeah, I think. I know I, with my computer. <laughs> and the last thing that I need to say that I think there is great that we can practice business language, like marketing in this kind of topic. Because um, in job, it's curious that even you have um, a course before, you can learn, you can speak that kind of, of topic because it's very specific vocabulary that you need. And I think that is great that we have this opportunity to learn about this topic. In my area, uh, actually I'm business administrator. I'm that, that, that degree. So um, in my area, we learn or we use this kind of, of vocabulary. So I need it. <laughs> so I must learn really good to, to practice in my job. So I can say thank God for this course, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you know, since last course, we have been talking about marketing, we have talking about the, the creation of a new product, the screening of a new idea for the product, the design of the prototype and the design of the product. That was all you need, uh, well, all last course, right? That we were developing a, a product since the very beginning, since the, the, the brainstorming. Of the, of the ideas. And we finished, unfortunately, as we're not in presential, we cannot go to make 
the real product, right? But at least um, they had the chance to describe the characteristics of the products and what they, they wanted there. In this course, we're going to be talking more about the cycle of the product, about marketing, about branding. That branding. those are, yeah, those are the topics that we bring to, to work. And of course, the, the grammar points that are in the middle that we're going to be developing too. Mm -hmm. It's immediate and in, in, in all the, the, the things of business is the grammar. Yeah. Ah. Exactly, exactly. I, I read the, the, the book before to, to start the, the classes and, and I think there is really interesting everything, yes. all the content. Yeah. I think in English, all the vocabulary is important because even if you don't suspect that you wanna uh, use it, uh, all the vocabulary is useful in all the conversations, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And sometimes the conversations are very short, right? But even with that, they are giving you an example of the structure used and of the vocabulary being used in class. Vocabulary, yes, yes. I think that, and I really want to, my objectives with this course is writing and grammar <laughs> because okay. I can understand, I can speak a little bit, but I have problems with writing and with, um, with grammar sometimes, yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. so, let's do our best then, right? Okay. <laughs> we okay. Want the energy for the coming 24 days. Okay. So we can make a difference, right? By the end of the course. Mm -hmm. Even just speaking is a little bit help. Not a little bit, a lot of help. <laughs> we can practice, yes. Definitely. Okay. okay, Adriana, Maria, then that was a pleasure. See you in class tomorrow. And then I need to say that I, I can't assist to the class tomorrow because I have an event with my with my boss. Okay. So it's in the night at night, so I, I can stay okay. in classes. I gonna I'm gonna try to, to stay maybe one hour, but okay. Or maybe just be like, listen to class. Yes. Okay. And so I, in the platform, we upload the video every day, right? Okay. So you can uh, you can watch the video later on. So you get familiarized with what we discuss tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank Perfect. You. Well, see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice night. Thank you. You too. Thank you.